What is going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to check out ReDream. In my opinion, one of the best Dreamcast emulators out there. Now I'm going to be using the standalone version. The Libretro Core, or the core you download in RetroArch, is a very old version and I'm not sure if it's ever going to be updated. So there is a free version and there's a premium version. The premium version is $5. It allows you to up the resolution inside of the emulator. Now I know a lot of people are going to be complaining about a paid version of an emulator. The way I see it, the dev puts a lot of time into this. I understand time is valuable. And if we can throw them a few extra dollars to get the ball rolling on this to get a really awesome Dreamcast emulator, I think it's definitely worth it. The free version works great. The only difference that I've seen is the ability to upscale the game itself when you get the paid version or you buy a license. Their website's really nice. They do have a compatibility list and 80% of the Dreamcast games are playable. You will run into some that are not playable. Some of them do have graphical glitches, but a majority of them that I've tested, well actually every game that I've tested except for Unreal Tournament works flawlessly. Unreal Tournament does have some graphical glitches does run at 60 FPS, but the floor goes missing, and I've seen this in other emulators. Now this whole video is recorded in 4K. I'm going to go ahead and scale my desktop back down to 100%. I'm on a 4K television here. You're not going to be able to really see any of my UI here because it's so small, but I really wanted you guys to see how good this emulator looks at 4K. I actually haven't been this excited about an emulator in a long time. This is working so well, and at 4K, these Dreamcast games just look amazing. You do have a few options up here. Like I mentioned, I have the paid version, so I can scale up the internal resolution. I'm going to drop it down a little bit. The system I'm running this on has an i7-4790K and a GTX 1060 6GB GPU. Now, the only reason I tested it on here was so I could record in 4K in the background. This does work at 4K on an i5-2400, 8GB of RAM, and a GT1030 2GB graphics card. I actually just posted a few videos on that PC, but I can't record 4K and play the game at full speed, so I had to use my more powerful setup. While I'm testing these games out, I'm not going to be talking much. If there's something I need to say, I will say it, but I want you guys to kind of just sit back in the glow of this 4K Dreamcast emulator. A game I didn't test in this video is Shamu because it takes 30 minutes to get into some gameplay. I'm actually waiting for those remasters to come out, and then I really won't mess around with the Dreamcast version anymore. But it does run in this emulator, and it runs very well. Now for each game, I will have the box art listed in the top right-hand corner, and the FPS, the GPU usage, and the CPU usage in the top left-hand corner. I'm going to stop talking now. Check this out. Yeah! Time! One! Are you ready? Execute! Yeah! 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 
Unfortunately, I do have to turn the sound off here. It is copywritten music and the video will be flagged. But as you heard, it works really well and the game is running super good. One. Let the action begin. Go! Yeah. <laughs> 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 one, one, one. 
So as you can see, Redream is on the right path. A lot of the stuff is working flawlessly. Like I mentioned, I did try Unreal Tournament and the floor was missing every once in a while. But updates are coming for this and the developer has been doing an amazing job. This is the new UI here and I think it looks really good. If you guys are interested in trying this out on your PC, your Mac or your Linux machine, I'll leave links in the description to the Redream website. You don't need to add a BIOS, all you need to do Download the application, start it up, scan for your games, it will automatically download the box art for you like you see here, and you can click on a game and start playing. Another cool feature, controllers automatically set up. My PS4 controller and my Xbox One controller was automatically set up when I plugged it in. So that's it for this video guys, really appreciate you watching. This has been one of the best Dreamcast emulators that I've ever messed around with, and it's only going to get better as time goes on. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to turn notifications on so you know when I upload my next video, and like always, thanks for watching.